Yokani Babai, Sukabli Arts, Pashol Tina Hokazal. My name is David Attenborough, and today I'm going to take you on a journey. It's a nice day in the house of Frank. The sun is out, the birds are chirping, and I hid Frank's dildo collection. <laughs> uh, uh, nothing. Nature. And flowers. Whales. Whatever. Now, modern research would say that Frank needs to fuck off. What? <laughs> what do you want from me? What do you want? And a little birdie told me that your dick is the size of an acorn. Acorn? I love acorn. Smack that all on the floor. Smack that. Give, give me, me some, some more. more. Smack, Smack that. that. Till you, till you, you get, get sore. sore. Smack, Smack that. that. Look, the point is, I don't have a small dick. I heard you do. <laughs> uh, no, I, I don't have a small dick. Wait a minute. Show yourself. Why can't I see you? No, no. You can't see me. But I can certainly see you. I do not think no. you understand. I control everything. No, it's a lie. You don't control anything. No, you don't. Then can you explain to me why there's a rock inside of your eyes? <laughs> Oftentimes, you'll find a salamander doing something under the bed. Most likely, excessive masturbation. Yes! Leave him alone! Yes! Oh, dude, he only likes touching his nipples, not his dick! Yes! David, leave him alone! And thus, Pink Eye started to uncontrollably hump the air. <laughs> I'll kill you! You cannot kill a narrator, as we are already dead on the inside. Oh, I could shit. easily kill you right now. Uh, I look at your pictures at night die. when I'm alone. Salamander man! You cannot run, escape! Run! Run! Ever since I was a little boy, people have enjoyed well, the it's more than free even get out of here. You're not and a part I figured of this you side. either get busy get talking get or you get busy dying. Shut the fuck up! I hate Morgan Freeman. Anyways, where were we? Ah oh, yes, you cannot kill a David Attenborough. And you're a loser! Well, you know what they say. If you can't beat a narrator, then you be one. I would like to see you try, you faggot. <laughs> what? Where, where did he go? I'm a narrator now. What? That's what are you impossible. gonna do? I'm gonna fight you. Um, wait, what's wrong with my voice? Huh? You can't choose a narrator's voice. The narrator's voice chooses you. And I can tell by your voice that you need to eat a giant. All right, man, whatever. Let's fight. <laughs> you call yourself a real man? <laughs> oh. Uh, what, did, what did I just grab? Uh, um, that That is... That, that is my, my dick. Oh, I'm so terribly sorry. I, I didn't mean to grab no, it. No, no, re really, really, do not worry. Ah, oh, yes, this is rather fantastic. Get down, girl. Get down! Ooh! 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 Yeah! I think we all learned our lesson today. I learned that narrators really do control the story, and it's very important to- No, you dickweed! More money, more problems. Bitch. Now that we're all good friends here, I would like to ask for a favor. 
I mean, yeah, sure, man. Anything you need. I want you to kill me. Why would you ever want to kill yourself? I've come to realize that I'm just a floating voice. Shit. I don't even have a dick. You seem so happy all the time. They called me Dickless Nickless back in high school. They called me Stumpy Steven. Charlie Chode. They even called me Dexter's Fagatory. In fact, my dick was so invisible that they almost thought I was Asian. Almost. Almost. That's bullshit! So you're telling me that you want to kill yourself just because of your floating voice? No, I, I actually just have cancer. Oh my god, it's so inappropriate! It's Filthy Frank, motherfucker! It's Filthy Frank, bitch! Let's get some pussy tonight.